Hey guys, it's Jesse V. So guess what? I am filming this video for the second time. Yes, I am so frustrated right now. So I filmed this video like three days ago when the event kind of occurred and I uploaded the footage later that night and I found out that the entire video I filmed was extremely out of focus. And I'm not talking like a little bit. I'm talking like I was basically a blurry blob talking to you guys. So I basically like threw my computer and I was like, why? So here I am a few days later, calm and collected and ready to retell you this story. It sucks because I feel like I would have had more detail when I told the story right after it happened, but it's okay. I will remember as much as I can for you guys. By the way, I hope you had a great Christmas and Christmas Eve. I hope you just stuffed yourselves with turkey. I know I did. And if you didn't celebrate Christmas, I hope you just had a great past few days. All right, so I had no idea that I would be telling you guys a story like this. I've seen tons of story times on YouTube of people talking about their crazy Uber driver experience and I've always wanted to tell one like that but I had never had a crazy Uber experience until now. I always just wondered like will I ever get a crazy Uber driver and earlier this week I finally did. It happened guys and now I can tell you the story. So this past Sunday my friend Danielle came over and I hadn't seen her in a while so I thought that we should go out and do something. We should just go out and catch up. We decided to go to one of our favorite restaurants, which is Moxie's, and it's about like 15 minutes from our house. We thought we would go there and have some wine and some appetizers and just enjoy the time talking to each other. So around 9 p.m. we decide to call an Uber, and I had only used Uber probably two or three times before the time that I'm telling you, so I was still getting used to it. I was still feeling it out, you know what I mean? It's just so cool because on your app, you could like watch the little car going towards your house so you know exactly when the Uber is about to arrive. And I'm not even kidding you right now. Danielle and I were still inside the house and we could hear this Uber driver's music from all the way out on the street. He was playing Hotline Bling by Drake and there's nothing wrong with Drake. But why blast his music when you're picking people up? It freaks them out, okay? Danielle and I got into his car like covering our ears like, hello, it's not Nice to meet you, sir. He finally notices how difficult it is to communicate, so he turns down the music and asks where we're going. He then tells us that he's not going to start driving his car until he is sure that our seatbelts are on. Like, this guy literally spun around in his seat to check that our seatbelts were done up. Like, his face was right beside my seatbelt, like, Okay, you're good. Your seatbelt is on, you're good. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm not four. Like, I do know that seatbelts are essential. But I mean, you know what? Obviously, he wanted to be a safe driver, which I applaud him for. Good job, Uber. By the way, this guy was probably in his like late 40s, just to give you like an idea. So we're on our way out of the neighborhood and he asks us why we chose Moxie's to go to. And we were like, yeah, it's like our favorite place to go. We're gonna have some wine, some appetizers. We're gonna catch up. And once he hears that we're gonna be drinking wine, he goes. Oh, so you're gonna be drinking? Make sure to call me after. And Danielle and I instantly stop and we're like, what did he just, what did he just say? What, what does that even mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah! When you nod your head yes, but you wanna say no, what do you mean? Anyway, so this guy, I guess, figures out that what he said was really creepy, and he like rephrases what he said to make up for it, and he was like, No, like what I meant was, if you're drinking, you should call me after, so that I could pick you guys up and bring you home safely. And Danielle and I kind of just like awkwardly laughed it off, like, oh, haha, you're, you're funny, I think we'll be okay. So to get out of my neighborhood and onto the highway, you have to go to this main intersection and turn left. And this guy is so busy like talking to us and looking at us constantly through his rearview mirror that he doesn't see that we're about to get hit by a truck. Our Uber driver was on his way making a left, but there was a truck going straight through the intersection. And this truck was like two inches from hitting us. Two inches. So Danielle and I are like yelling at the Uber driver like, stop, there's like a car coming. So the Uber driver presses on his brakes and this truck is like honking at him, like swearing at him. And the Uber driver looks back at us and goes, whoops, whoops, whoops. That's all you're gonna say. You almost like killed us and it's just whoops. 
So eventually we get to Moxie's. Finally. It was a long ride. And it was so weird because he had one of those locks on his doors that you can't open from the back seat. Like the driver has to press the unlock button for the passengers to get out. It's like one of those child locks so kids don't open the door when the car is moving or something. I don't know. But Danielle and I are trying to get out of his darn car and we couldn't. We're like, is this guy trying to kidnap us right now? What is happening? Why can't we leave the car? And he was like, oh, whoops, I forgot to unlock it for you guys. You can't get out unless I unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not funny. Are we like prisoner in your car? Please let us out of this strange vehicle. So we get out of the car and just before we're about to close the door, he says, hopefully I will be the one picking you guys up tonight. And like Danielle and I looked at each other and we're like, yeah, hopefully. See you. Bye. So we're in Moxie's. We're having a really great time catching up. We order the sweet potato fries, which are to die for. If I could pick one snack to have for the rest of my life, it would definitely be sweet potato fries. I don't even care if they turn me orange from eating them so much. I would rock the Oompa Loompa look. So around 11, Danielle and I are finished eating and talking and whatnot, so we decide to get an Uber home. Now guys, I remember literally saying to Danielle, could you imagine if we get the same guy on the way home? And we were looking at the little app, which has like the Uber map and whatnot and we could see that around our area there's like 12 uber cars driving around so I'm like I mean it's not that big of a chance we'll get him there's 12 cars around us we're probably not gonna <laughs> Well, guys, <sighs> guys, I was wrong, okay? We got the same darn guy. On the app, when, like, you get an Uber car, the guy's picture pops up on your screen. And it was the guy, the same creepy guy. We walk outside of Moxie's, and he's, like, parked right in front of the restaurant, and he has his, like, window turned down, and his arm is sticking out of the car, and he's like, hi, guys, hey, guys, like, so loud, and his arm is, like, outside, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is he doing? And he has has like these glasses on, these sunglasses on at night. This is literally what he looked like. Hey guys, hey, you're in my car again, guys, hey, hey, hello? Hi guys, over here guys, come on, come on. Buddy, what are you doing? Don't wear your sunglasses at night. I don't wear my sunglasses at night cause I can't, I can't see. With them on, I just can't see. That's a song from a long time ago, but I changed the words. <laughs> You get it? So we get in the car and he goes, Wow, I'm a lucky man tonight, aren't I? And we were like, yeah, it's splendid to meet again. Splendid. And then he makes this joke about how the whole time he never left Moxie's parking lot, that he was actually waiting for us to come out to his car. And he like had these serious eyes. You know when someone tells a joke, but they have the serious eyes and they don't laugh? And you're like, was that... Was that really a joke? Was it was it a joke? I don't think it was a joke, guys. So he starts driving us home, and the next five minutes aren't that bad. Like, I'm surprised. He didn't talk to us. Everything was fine. But then, more weirdness happens. Danielle and I are having this personal conversation with each other. We're talking pretty low, so it was surprising that he heard us. Because he was, like, overhearing our conversation. We were talking about how, in a couple days, we wanted to go down to Toronto to look at the Christmas lights. And this guy hears us and says, You should call me and I will take you to Toronto. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that you were able to request specific Uber drivers on the app. And he was like, no, no, I mean, let's exchange numbers and you could call me and I'll take you there. And I was like, oh no, sir, like I don't usually give out my number to people I don't know. And he was like, don't worry, I'll give you mine. And he like starts just blurting out his cell phone number at me. So I'm like pretending to take it down. I'm not. I don't want a 40 year old's number in my phone. It's okay. I will pass on that. And then he proceeded to tell us that when he picks us up in the next couple days, that we're not going to go through Uber. Like, he's not going to use the app. Instead, we have to give him cash to take us down to Toronto, and it would be our secret ride. What? He also proceeded to tell us that when we go down to Toronto, Danielle and I could walk on the sidewalk and do our own thing, shopping, whatever we want, and he would follow us in his car so that when we got cold, we could get inside. This guy 
guy wanted to follow us around all day so we could get back in his car. So Danielle and I are like speechless at this point. We don't really know what to say. Honestly, maybe he was genuinely trying to be nice. But guys, it was just like the vibe he was giving off. It was a very creepy vibe. Like he was being very, very forward and like flirtatious and it was just strange. We're like 21 and you're like in your late 40s. Like relax, bud. And then he says like, it doesn't look like you guys have been drinking. Like I was hoping it would look like you guys had drank a lot. What do you... I what do you mean we don't look like we've been drinking? Does he think that we're gonna get into his car drunk? No, we're responsible adults. We know how to take alcohol. We know when it's too much for us. I don't know what this guy expected. Ugh. So we're almost home and he looks at me and says, I'm so glad that I live so close to you. And I was like, oh, like, wh where do you live? And he's like, a couple streets down. And I was like, great. That is just wonderful. I have a creepy Uber driver living in my vicinity. So now whenever I have to call an Uber, what if he's the first one that I get because he's the closest one to my location. What if I always get this guy now? Is there a way to like not get him? I don't know. Like I gave him a 3 out of 5 rating. Maybe I should have lowered it so I don't get him again. I don't know how it works. I was just trying to be a nice person, okay? Because in a way I feel bad because maybe like this, he needs this money. That's why he's an Uber driver. I don't know. So I didn't want to give him like a 1 out of 5. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. He was like coming up to my house and he's like I'm just gonna pull into your driveway because we know each other now. I was like okay. And then like Danielle and I are getting out of the car after he unlocks the lock because we can't get out on our own. And he just looks at me, not even Danielle. And he goes, goodbye, Jesse. I'll see you soon. Ugh. Like I didn't even tell him my name. I guess he just saw my name like on the app. I don't know. But he called me by name. We're getting personal here. But yeah, that was my, my creepy Uber driver experience. I don't know if you guys were expecting something way crazier, but that was mine. And I was pretty creeped out. But I hope you did find it amusing and funny because I'm sure I'll look back at this like I don't know a couple months from now and I'll be like yeah that was kind of funny like come on it was kind of funny but anyways guys my social media information is below along with my vlog channel and my PO box information so check that out I also have some new merch available I have t-shirts sweaters and all kinds of stuff like that I'll put the merch link in the description for you too and yeah I hope you guys have an awesome day and a good rest of your Christmas break I will see you very soon for more videos bye guys <laughs>